Thursday, January 5th, 1659 or 60. I went to my office where the money was again expected for the excise office, but none brought, but was promised to be sent this afternoon. I dined with Mr. Shepley at my lord's lodgings upon his turkey pie, and so to my office again, where the excise money was brought, and some of it home to soldiers till it was dark. <sighs> then I went home, and after writing a letter to my lord, and told him the news that the Parliament hath this night voted that the members that were discharged from sitting in the years 1648 and 49 were duly discharged, and that there should be writs issued presently for the calling of others in their places, and that Monk and Fairfax were commanded up to town and that the prince's lodgings were to be provided for Monk at Whitehall. Then my wife and I, it being a great frost, went to Mrs. Jem's in expectation to eat a sack posset, but Mr. Edward not coming, it was put off. And so I left my wife playing at cards with her, and went myself with my lanthorn to Mr. Fage to consult concerning my nose, who told me it was nothing but cold. And after that we did dis course concerning public business and he told me it is true the city had not time enough to do much but are resolved to shake off the soldiers and that unless there be a free parliament chosen he did believe that there are half the common council will not levy any money by order of this parliament from thence i went to my father's where i found mrs ramsay and her grandchild a pretty girl and stayed a while and talked with them and my mother and then took my leave only heard of an invitation to go to dinner tomorrow to my cousin, Thomas Pepys. I went back to Mrs. Jem, took my wife and Mrs. Shepley, and went home. 